In this question, we have a binomial uh, probability distribution. We're going to repeat it five times. We have this probability of success on a single trial, 0.269. And here, this is gonna be cumulative because it's less than or equal to K. There's, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this, and you can do it whichever of the two you want when you're ready to type to go for your answer. So I'm gonna do a regular uh, probability distribution here using the bino dist. So I'm typing bino and I want the binome.dist, double click. Number of successes is zero. Number of trials is five. Probability of success is up here. But again, I wanna lock down row one, because when I move this formula down, I want to keep this number here in red. Cumulative, false. So this is just like the previous problem. So I'm going to duplicate this down. Sum just to check. It's a nice thing to do to make sure you got it right. Okay, so this, this is not what the question's asked for because I did x equals k. Now we're gonna answer what the question's asking for, which is what's the probability that you get this many successes or less? Now, I'm gonna go ahead with the bottom one here. Now the bottom one is this many, five or less, so it's the sum of all of these put together. Enter. So again, it's the sum of five successes or less. If you tried five times, you're gonna get five successes or less guaranteed, so it's one. All right, we're gonna take this, we are gonna duplicate it upwards, uh, but let's be smart about it when we do. This B4, no matter which column we're in, B4 is the top. So B4, I'm gonna put the dollar sign in front of the four because I want that top one to stay where it is. I'm only gonna duplicate this one time. So again, lower right corner, your cursor goes to the plus and put it up there. So now this should be the sum of B4 to B8. And if it didn't work, you probably maybe you put the dollar sign over here, uh, but you do need to get this working. So it should be everything added together except the very last one, that one should be missing. Uh, oops, no. Okay, they didn't mess it up, good. So hit escape, and I'm gonna take this and duplicate it up. Now, notice the first one's the same. If you look here, it's the sum from B4 to B4, and then the next one, sum the two, sum the three, sum the four. All right, these are the numbers that we need in our answer. Four decimal places, and here we go. So that is one way to answer this. I will show you a second way to answer this. So again, we want the same probability x less than or equal to k. I'm gonna paste it way over here. Now what I'm gonna do is copy the first one and paste it here. Now of course everything moved around because I wasn't careful. I'm gonna just drag these back to, whoa, where they need to be. I wanna move the blue. All right, this time I'm going to true. True is cumulative. It accumulates everything, of, in this case, zero and before. So what this is gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this down. Oh, something went very wrong. Let's undo a couple, all right. What did I do? Ah, that needs to be a zero. Wow, okay. That needed to be the K value, the number of successes. Okay, that'll make a big difference. There you go. When you go to cumulative, it basically gives you this right here. So you could just go to cumulative, uh, or you could do what I did here. I like this because you're gonna find that some questions are gonna ask you, in addition to what this is asking, uh, what's the probability between two and four? So you can just go right here. You can add these three together, and that's the probability between two and four. So 
But what I showed you first is a little bit more generally applicable and more useful to more problems. So I like to go with what I showed you first on these questions.